Hello again. In this lesson I'm going to look at how I play the lovely folk song uh, I Will Love You. Huge hit for the Furies and Davy Arthur. It was written I believe by Tom Paxton. It's in the key of D and I, it's in slow 4-4 four, four time. I'm using a finger picking pattern to accompany the song. Um, there's a lovely introduction to the song which I'm going to look at in a, in a different lesson. It will be over in bundle one with the tabs. Uh, but in this lesson we're just going to concentrate on how to accompany the song and the chords. So the key of D, and we've got the three chords from the D scale. D major. G major. And A major. And they're the three chords that are used during the actual song and the chorus. In the introduction and the little the solo, there's an extra chord in it which I think adds a lot to to the to the tune and it's it's F sharp minor. And this is how you play F sharp minor. It's a bar chord, tricky enough to get so this is a, a simplified version. Same chord, but we're just playing four of the strings. Uh, we're barring the strings one, two, and three with my first finger here, and then I'm putting my third finger, my ring finger, on the fourth string, fourth fret. It's in slow four four time, and this is the finger picking pattern I'm using where I'm picking the bass note, the one beat, with my thumb. And then my fingers are going to pick, and, two, and. So we have one, and, two, and. The fourth string, that's the root note for the D major chord. That's the one beat. My second finger, second string, first finger, third string, third finger, first string. One, and, two, now for the three beat I'm going to play another bass note but I'm going to play a different bass note than the root note. So I'm going to move my thumb down to the fifth string. This is for D, the D chord. And this will be three fingers pick the same pattern again. So that full bar will be as follows. One and two and three and four and fourth string with the thumb and fifth string. For the G major chord, my, the only thing will change here now is my thumb picking the, the bass notes. So for the G major chord here, I'm going to pick the 6th string with my thumb, that's the 1. Fingers pick the same pattern. And this alternate bass then for the 3 beat is the 4th string. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And the 1 beat the, will be slightly more accented, a little bit louder. And then the A chord, A major chord, the root note here is the fifth string, that's A, and I'm going to 
alternate the bass this time between the fifth and the fourth, the opposite of the D chord. So we'll have one and two and three and four and fifth string, fourth string, one and two and three and four and. And for that uh, F sharp minor chord, this time we're if we're playing the full bar chord, the root note is the sixth string. Now we can alternate that with the fourth or the fifth. I, I did it with the fourth, I think. One and two and three and four and. If you're playing the the other version of that F sharp minor chord, this shape is just the fourth string with my thumb and repeat that for the three beat. One and two and three and four. I want to take a quick look at the D sus4 chord, which I use a couple of times in my accompaniment. And you, you would use this if you're staying on the D chord for a couple of bars, and it, it might be a little bit repetitive to just continue on the same. Which is fine, nothing wrong with it. But the D sus4 chord is involves using my pinky here to play the third fret um, of the first string and I get this sound. This is D major, sus4, D sus4. Very nice addition, um, very nice chord. Now how I play that, I want to play that sus4 note on the 3 beat of the D chord. I think I play, I think I play it at the end, um, at the end of a verse. So I would the picking pattern is the same for the first part of the of the bar one and two and now I want to play that sus four note now so that has to be my three instead of going down here with my thumb this time I'm going to pick that first string again with my third finger so I will have one and two and three. Now to finish off this, this, it involves changing the picking pattern slightly. I'm going to go three and, three and four and, playing that sus note again on the four and. Three and four and, and then I'm back to the normal pattern. Now we look at that again. It comes in on the three beat now, that sus four note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and first string again, second string, third string, first, back to the 